Hey guys, Will from Next Performance and we are going through the half nearly one arm pull down. Uh, Mickey's gonna demonstrate this one, but first a little bit on setup. We're using a band tied to a rack here, but you can use obviously like a high cable. Uh, the only difference is gonna be that when we do the pull down, if Mickey tries to do a pull down from there and then tries to go to the top, there's gonna be a lot of slack on this band, which isn't good. So we would wanna either set it up on something higher or we would want her to grab up a bit higher so that at the top she has tension on it. Uh, as far as her body setup, she's in a half kneeling position. We have a full video on the half kneeling position, so go watch that if you're not familiar. Uh, she's keeping her ribs down, everything stacked on top of each other, head looking f up and forward. Uh, like I said, grabbing the band high enough that there's tension at the top, full reach at the top, and then she's going to pull it down in front of her and elbow into the side of the body. She should feel her lat and maybe even a little bit of a side crunch type uh, motion, side abs. So what I, the one common mistake I do see that people do is elbow out to the side and doing it like that, yeah. And uh, you, you won't feel much lat there, you won't feel much um, of the side abs there, so you'll know straight away you're doing it wrong. Um, a lot of the, the other mistakes people make is that at the top they'll let their whole body go and then at the bottom they'll do like almost a little crunching motion and we don't want to see that either. We want to see tall, not much movement through the trunk, keep it nice and, uh, nice and still. And the only motion we see through the trunk is maybe, like I said, that little bit of a side crunch at the bottom. But other than that, completely still, pulling in front of the body. A little 45 degrees wouldn't be too bad either, but that's fine. If you have any questions about that one, shoot us a message.